Hey, hey everybody, welcome. Welcome back to Tarot, not to Tarot. We're waiting for my co-reader for tonight to sign on. And once she does, we will get this show started. Um, we're going to be discussing the power of letting go. That seems to be a big topic with a whole lot of people that I know right now. So I think it's worth discussing. Uh, we're going to get your input on that. And we're going to be doing some um, one or two card pull readings. We'll discuss that with uh, my co-host for tonight when she gets on. Ready for the truth like only you can give. <laughs> Thank you, Andrea. So, I'm waiting for my co-host to join me um, for tonight's show. We're going to be, again... Oh, here she goes. Hold on. Hey, girl. Hi, guys. Hi. So I'm going to let you introduce yourself. Okay. Um, <laughs> that was great. Hi, my name is Luna So Oracle. I made tarot on Oracle card here and intuitive. Um, and I'm also a Buruha. So that's what I do. I do readings, I do mediumship, I do witchy things, I spells, I find the magic in everyday life. All right. This is somebody that I myself watch and I watch her show and I love watching her um do readings. She's very thorough. I found her always to be on the money pretty much. So um <laughs> Don't make that face. I meant like, you know, the same thing with me. You're on the money, but sometimes little details are off. I know that's what happens with me. Like, I'll see a particular thing, and it's in relation to what a person would understand, but it's not that exact thing. So it's kind of off, but later on, people think, and they're like, oh, shit, I remember. This is what this thing is. I think usually in a reading, when a person's being read, and it goes unexpectedly to the point where it's like, oh, my God. Jeez. Yeah. Or she is really tapping in. Right. <laughs> and it's like, oh my God, let me listen. And um, some people have had told me, like, that doesn't make any sense. And then weeks later, even months, they're like, this happened to me exactly how you said it. So I was just like, you know, it's like, boom. <laughs> All good things, guys, nothing bad. Yeah, no, 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 oh. definitely all good. She's she's a, a great personality. I really like her a lot. So I'm glad she was able to join me tonight so she could show you guys her stuff. I had to get ready. I was like, let me wash my hair. Let me do things. Let me get ready for everyone. I want it to be fun. So <laughs> <laughs> fresh and so clean, clean. Oh, yeah. I have um, I went to work because I work in a school system as well on my main, and I had to cleanse myself. I got a major headache. Just going. yeah, yeah. But I'm good now. I'm ready, plain, so fresh, so clean. And just for you guys, um, I asked Spirit what deck I should bring to you. And remember, we have a theme for this um, live. I chose the liminal space. Um, this one, I don't know what it is about this one. This really goes in deep in different ways. Uh, I feel like this might be like a shadow work type of deck. Okay. The type that it really comes at certain things. And I, it's a good deck. It helps you reflect a lot. So I thought this would be ideal. Well, they okay. shout it to me. They said, do this one. I'm like, okay. so. Okay, cool. So the power of letting go. Everybody's resistant to change. A lot of the time when it comes to letting something go, people are hesitant. They grab on with iron claws, so to speak. And um, at the end of that, what you're really doing is you're stopping other blessings from coming into your life because you're, you're pausing energy to hold on to the energy that you have there that's not serving you anymore. Right? And I feel like it's a major theme for right now. Um, I think that COVID and what's going on with what's going on in life right now is a big thing um, that's adding to that because now we're stuck in small spaces with people that we've had relationships that were touch and go with for so long that we were able to make them function. Mm -hmm. Now we're face to face with these people all the time. 
Um, and I'm hearing a lot of, I like, I know a lot of people that are going through breakups, divorces, um, friendships that they're like, oh my God, I can't believe that this person was like this, that, and the other. Um, but because we're so resistant to change, we constantly keep making those reconnections with those people. Indeed. You said a lot, so I agree. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's something that I've been thinking about a lot because, like I said, I know a lot of people that are they're going through these breakups. And, you know, any change in life is difficult when you're used to doing something, uh, you know, day in and day out and day in and day out. It's like, what do I do now? How do I change that habit? Mm. You know what I mean? And I think a lot of it is that there's no assurances about what's going to happen next. It's like, you know that great unknown. My mom used to say to me a lot, we fear the unknown. We're not really afraid of that thing. We're afraid of what we don't know about that thing. Mm -hmm. I agreed. I feel like that's in many aspects in life, aka tarot readers, aka spirituality. Yeah. A lot of categories of the unknown. And um, I agree. I also think this is like issues, whether it's within yourself or within anybody in your circle or environment it's going to bring it out it's going to be like are you really willing to work at this or are you ready to finally let go so it's kind of like do you really want to be with this person are you guys willing to make it work or is this a time where you just have to part ways and just go on different journeys so i feel like it's like a weird um tug of war in a sense kind of like trying to regain and I also I'm, I, I keep reminding people around me when they get super emotional I'm like be mindful this is COVID this is not um a regular year right into one year within months and on top of that showing the flaws of society our government um basically the flaws within people even groups and it's kind of weighing heavily on us because that means we actually have to present ourselves with solutions to the problem and actually put in the work as a society to be better um so many things has fallen through the cracks so many injustices has fallen through so many cracks this could be whether it's just masculinity femi um, femininity everything children all over so it's just kind of like this year's exposure is basically ripping the band-aid and saying look at my wound yeah <laughs> yeah we got to work together to make this work. So I feel like this year, I keep reminding people, understand this year's rough. So try not to, because um, people get upset, they take it out on other people. So it's kind of like uh, trying to differentiate, is this really your emotion or are you feeling everything around you? Right, right. So it's like, it's weird. This year, I've seen some people say some pretty messed up things. And I work in a school system, so I see parents. I see all, like, I see everything. And it's just like, it kind of makes me feel like, humanity, no, what are you doing? It, it kind of makes me a little sad. So it's like, we really have to be better as people and as a community, because we're all people. We're all one human race. So this whole different like trying to square us in different groups and box us in, it doesn't work. Um, no. we have to come together, whether that is moving away from that person saying, you know, nice to know you, thank you for this journey and let's part ways, or trying to band together as whatever relationship it is. Right. So you get to a crossroads at some point and then you have to decide, am I going to let go or am I going to put in the work? And here's another thing. Sometimes we're ready to put in that work, but that other person, they're done. Yep. And that's something that you have no control over. And so then you have to control yourself. How do you handle that? How do you let go? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, we have a question. I'm so sad. Ooh, that's a lot. That's a lot. I understand What's Graham's current energy towards me right now? Yes. So, how many how many cards are you gonna do? A one pull, a two pull? What are we gonna do? I'm gonna probably do a two pull. Sounds okay. like he's the next card. Okay. So today I, I'm reading. With the Simplicity Tarot deck. I'm really in love with this deck right now. I love the artwork. 
I, I just, I just, I think it's beautiful. I love it. I'm glad that I, I actually caught it. I think at the end, there was like, I was like number 477 out of 500 of this deck. It was like a limited edition deck. Yeah. That's so true. when I saw it, I was like, oh my God. And I saw the artwork. I was like, I really like this. You know, like, cause some artwork, some colors call out to you. Mm -hmm. At least I found that that's what works with me with my decks. You know what I mean? Hey, Brujita. Hi. Shout out my friend. What, what, let me take a brief moment to shout out my friend. I'm going to put her products online. Her page is private um, for numerous reasons. But um, she does make prepared jewelry. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, I'm picky about who I shop with. If there's anybody that you want to give a plug to during the show, I encourage that. Like, let's get everybody out there. There's more than enough to go around. Let's share with each other. Let's promote each other. Let's lift each other up. Because what it is is that they want us to fight over the crumbs. Exactly. And what we need to be doing is focusing on sharing the bread. Yep, there's enough room for everybody to succeed. It's just um, this self, this limiting mindset that society puts, like, you, the top dog, no, everyone can succeed. So, um, right. so I'll be plugging um, Phoenix Fire Tarot, who's one of my good friends, my witchy sisters. Um, she's amazing. She deals with animal spirits. She's okay. She's an animal medium. She's also a great medium, regular one, and she's a witch as well, and she makes jewelry. Her readings are pretty profound. I had one myself and I was just like mind blown because um, you don't realize there's like a whole spiritual world out there that people don't understand. And animals, they're there, guys. It's not just spirits. <laughs> spirits are not just the... Or like human or yeah. Mm -hmm. Who passed away. It's not only more. So, um, you know, your pets, energies of animals, representations, like, you know... Like I said, I can go on into that world, but um, I'm just going to give you the tidbit. There is animal energies around people, so if you want to. And definitely, after we're done with this, I'm going to have her send me that information. I'll be posting all of this stuff so that you guys can check out all these people that we are plugging and giving some love to. Mm -hmm. um, but let's get started with uh, Serena Mobb's reading. She says, what is Graham's current energy towards me right now? And both the cards I get are swords. You know, there has to be a change in mindset here. Um, it's a crossroad for you. And, and, you know, you're obviously undecided on whether you should give this up or continue to go with it. Um, and it's kind of holding you back. Bondage, imprisonment, you're not. And it's funny. Isn't this so fitting? It is funny that we, this is this discussion that we're having today. You have to decide, should you stay or should you go? And this is going to be something very important for you. Indeed. So, um, you know, the power is within you to make that decision, to let that go. Um, not in the other party. And, and you really need to think about what it is that you want out of life for yourself here going forward. <laughs> yeah, your turn. Card you got is not my monkey, not my circus. I'm sensing like not my problem. It, I feel like there's no real connection in terms of emotionally he has with you. Maybe feeling the out because of that, there may not be as an emotional connection, or you feel maybe you're not emotionally supported by this person, and therefore this has like not my monkey not my circus meaning not my problem this is nothing to do with me maybe you've been recently going through some things maybe some emotional things and maybe that support system that you hoped he would be is not necessarily there so it's making you doubt things i also got the cloud and i feel like um, this is a type of a storm or so chaotic here environment and I feel like it's more you feeling those feelings intensely and it's kind of like he's like Arr. you know basically like okay yeah she's just acting a little weird he's not really understanding I'm truly upset with you Graham like see this see this like notice me so I feel like for you right now you're reevaluating is this person worth having around because he's not really there for me emotionally and I'm going through some things 
So I hear also maybe you have to speak this out to him. And if he brushes you off, you, re you should reconsider having him around. But I hear speak up and speak your truth. Don't be afraid to let it out and um, be honest. Let him know, look, this or I'm going to go. Like, I don't think I can do this anymore. And usually when you give people that firm understanding, like, look, this will happen if this will if there's no connection here, they will wake up. Whatever cloud he's in or whatever is like, I can't connect with you, he's going to have to realize, okay, she's serious. So I feel like something they're telling me, like, speak up and let him know how you truly feel and see where things go from there. Okay. So let us know if this resonates with you. I'm going to start pulling up the next question. For those of you who have just joined us, thank you so much for joining us tonight. If you have any questions, post them in the box at the bottom of the screen. I'm also going to throw it out there that we would love it, love it, love it if you threw a tip in the box for us. I will be splitting everything 50-50 with my co-host for tonight. So do know that everything is going to be shared fairly. I, I don't play with that kind of stuff. And um. You know, we appreciate you guys. She says, thank you so much. This did resonate. I love it. All right. So, you know, like we both said, it's time to think about what it is that you really want. Go speak to him. Um, send him a message if that's what you have to do. Um, and then start making decisions based on your own happiness. Yep. All right. So let's see. The next question is... I can't read that. Bleh, bleh, bleh. Wait. B um, Britiara Page. There you go. What is D's current energy towards me? Whoa, we're getting a lot of energy questions. <laughs> okay, well, girl, I just got cards flipping for you right now. Oh, wow. You, we got jumpers. Yes. Ooh. Like I said, Brit Britiara. Um, uh, person that comes up, I love your energy. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. We appreciate all you guys for joining us tonight. Yes, thank you so much. I'm so much, and hello, everybody. Just to introduce ourselves again, my name is Barbara, and I'm the I'm the person of Totero or not Totero. And my co-host, introduce yourself, Luna Soul Oracle. I'm here helping you guys, giving you a little magic, happiness, subscribe, TGIF. If you guys are not drinking on some water, are you drinking on some sippy sippies, some liqueurs, some um, beers, some um, grown-up juice if you have kids around you? Shh. <laughs> <laughs> this is Friday. This is, it's been a yeah. long wine time it is it's on wine time and I, I was excited about doing it today because i'm and that was exactly my thought like people come home from work you're kind of like in veg mode so i'm like there is a cash app i'm gonna throw it in the comments for you guys now this is these are the places that you can tip to it is not expected it is thoroughly appreciated and like i said we're going to be splitting everything half and half with each other um and i hope that in the future we'll be able to bring other shows to you guys as well so hopefully this will not be this will be her first of many appearances yes let us know how you like it put it in the comments yeah another divine another divine collaboration yeah share with your friends let them know doing readings free I say share it with she share it with people you don't like I'm not mad let's share people you don't like somebody out there right <laughs> four times and we're gonna and this is water guys later on I'm gonna crack out the Moscato don't worry I, I said the same thing I said after this I'm gonna have a nice couple of little drinks relax and start enjoying my weekend yeah. okay so I get the six of swords escape and travel and like this is your thoughts behind you're lost in your thoughts behind this um it's something that is taking up a lot of your time and energy um you're kind of it's like um the feeling that I get is like a puppy love kind of crush. You know what I mean? Like 
oh my god, I wonder what they're doing. Oh my god, I wonder what they're feeling. Oh my god, I wonder what they're thinking about this. If I said this or I did this, how would this play out? There's a lot of time and energy, and and you're not here in in your today and now. You're like in this cloud space thinking about this person and what's going on between the both of you. Um, the five of coins is illness and poverty, and this came out in lower polarity. You're not getting anything back. She said, obviously, obviously, yep, back and forth. It's you're you're not getting um what 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 you need out of this. Like you're feeding this machine and you're not getting anything out of it. You know what I mean? Um, and again, like this is the second reading, and the topic is the power of letting go. You have to make this decision. Like you know, you can talk to this person, express yourself, make those moves that you want to make. And if you're not getting that reciprocation, then there's something else out there for you that you need to start looking into. And if you don't let go, you're not going to get that. I apologize for the mowing sounds. Who mows at 721? It's dark. <laughs> <laughs> like, I didn't even hear that. I'm like, really? It's, it's dark. Like, what do you... I'm, I mean, I'm not. But, um... So I, I literally, I thought you, do you guys hear the mowing? I, I didn't want to be rude. No, no, I don't hear it. I don't know if anybody else is hearing it. It's not picking it up. Okay, good. I was like, oh my God, I'm destroying the read. Okay, is it? No, it you seem to have those problems, which it wasn't the other night you were trying to do a video or something like that. Yes, I need to move. <laughs> Manifesting that, it's. It's gone so ridiculous to the point where it's like, come on, like, really? But you just got, you, any of you in the apartment buildings, you know what I'm talking about? I was going to say, if anybody knows about any open apartments, <laughs> drop it in the box below. I'm going to get a house. Oh, yeah. Okay. Away from people. Like, I love people, but far away. Yeah, yeah your little cottage in the woods somewhere. How did you know? Because <laughs> uh, you did it, the, just the peace, the peace of being able to like get away from everything. Oh, you know, when when you pick up on other people's energy, like it's people. It takes people t time to get used to it. But when I go out and I do things, I can only be in a certain place for a certain amount of time, and it all depends on the energy that's in the room. Yes. Yeah. Because if the energy stinks, forget it. I'm in the worst mood. I don't want to be there. Like, I want to go home. You're not wrong. That's why when I see crowds of people in a certain, like, shopping mall, I'm, I just turn and I just go away. I'm like, I can't. It's yeah. Just... All right. Are you ready for this read? So, Brit TR page, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> Phonics. So, it's in here, the enemy of intuition is self-doubt. Um, this is something that you've been thinking, like like um, Barbara has said, you've been thinking about this a lot. You've been doubting yourself and kind of be like, am I doing too much? Am I doing too little? Should I text him? Should I not? I feel like this is like a back and forth mindset. Like, is he there? Is this a, is this a sign? Does he like me? Does this mean he likes me? So I feel like this back and forth, it's kind of like you're waiting. You see this man waiting on a train? He's waiting for his train to stop. He's waiting for things to happen. It's just you, keeps, can, she, you can call me Bree. <laughs> he keeps passing by him. And it's just this overwhelming seed of doubt keeps building and building. They're also saying this is not a dream. They're saying wake up. Wake up from this mindset or this type of uh, day you have with this person. I feel like you've romanticized about them. And Definitely. Like, it's like amazing. We could be like this. This can be great. But... At the end of the day, you can hear some type of um, back and forth. Is there a reciprocation of the same energy that you're putting into this person? And if that's not the case, maybe you should pull back and go. And surprisingly, sometimes that will get the person to come and be interested. They're like, oh, they're not giving me a time, but they're going to leave. And then that's when they come through and they're like, all right, all right I got to put effort and work. Um, sometimes with certain people, because not everybody, certain people, you have to kind of pull back a little just to reel them in a bit so i just say pull back just do about your business and really see if this person's interested they will make the time for you um you can't always make the time for that so that is my reading to you 
Bree says, yep, definitely, 100%. I think we're on the money tonight. Yeah. And have some wine. Yeah. Have some wine and let them come to you. Yes. Okay, so uh, next question. Could I just have a general reading? Absolutely. Let's see what comes out. So so far we have a lot of uh a lot of readings that are coming out um in regards to our subject letting go the power of letting go mm -hmm. um you know sometimes we have to let go of you know for for parents it's sometimes letting go of your kids for um you know there's just a lot of different situations in life so when we say the power of letting go we're not just talking about your lover your boyfriend your girlfriend or that significant other there's other family members you have to let go of there's people you know there's people that you enable sometimes when you don't let go you know what i mean sometimes we're dealing with people that have addiction issues and we don't want to let go because we don't want to see them go through changes but at the same token like what do you do your heart is in the right place you love this person and you want to see them do well but the power of letting go sometimes you just have to take that breath and let god take care of it or the universe or you know whatever it is that you call your higher power that thing that um makes everything move in the world okay. 100%. 100%. I feel like a lot of it also surrounds family. <laughs> like, the things are coming out, and um, people truly see how family is. Um, oh. <laughs> friends, people that you're super close with, your environment, people that you consider that support, that lifeline, and you truly see if they're there for you, if they're willing for you. And I've I gotten closer with so many people during COVID. It's very strange. But it's a good strange, and I embrace it. It's kind of like building, an, especially with you, Brie. Yeah. I think that I've had, like, all this. Um, it's weird because the people that I, some people that I felt like were really there for me and really loved me and cared about me um, are people that I no longer have anything to do with. And I have this new community of friends that I'm getting to know that are powerful and motivational. And, you know, it's, and it's funny too, because when I first um, started my page and I first started doing readings and I first started getting out there, um, I had a couple of weird experiences with people who like wanted to join my page just so that they can get more. It was just weird, weird stuff. Um, but I found that um, more than that, I have connected with a lot of people who are very motivational because, you know, we're working on some projects together. And um, I have another brujita who's on watching me, um, who we are doing some really awesome things that I'm excited about. And you guys will be hearing about all of these things coming up soon. But, um, you know, I'm glad that I touched base with people who are more focused on being positive and helping each other grow um, than initially I had run across, you know? Oh, yes. Um, the Instagram community is very interesting, just to say the least. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Like, um, but it's all good, but some of it is like, what? But um, it's all yeah. good. Yeah. Every now and again, you got to be like, block, delete, <laughs> block, delete. <laughs> Is, um certain people even in social media there's certain people who i vibed with like years ago and then i see them now and something i don't know if i'm opening up more and i'm just like i don't trust them with nothing like you just get that sense and you're mm -hmm. thinking, being a hater or is my gut telling me something that people don't see so i noticed that lately i've been seeing people who are like big figures and it's weird and I don't want to be that type of person that thinks, you know, negatively about them, but something's telling me something's off. So I, I, I have, I realize there's some people that are for it, for ego and fame. And then there's people like yourself that I, and people that I truly connect with that are really just want to help, want to, like you said, spread positivity and have everybody win because it's not about me against you. It's about all of us winning together. Um, that's what makes a better future in general. Like, would you want to be with somebody you're competing with? all the time or would you want somebody to embrace you and say your name in a room full of people of opportunity right right exactly like i don't understand what it all like oh no i can't i had somebody actually tell me well i'm a reader too i can't post you because then my people would go to you and i'm like okay 
You right. So then you're not confident in your own abilities. And that's the problem. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because then you you know like are you are you just throwing out cards and saying I memorized this card? Because here's the thing, these cards can say whatever you want them to say. Yeah. What does your instinct tell you about what these cards say? You know what I mean? We're not getting details or backstory from the pictures on the cards. It's what your instinct say, says. You know what I mean? And if you watch, like, I watch her shows, she gets hot, she gets sweaty, she gets into it, and that's that energy, that energy that you're sucking in from the universe that you're using in order to communicate these messages to people. This takes work, it takes concentration, it takes time away, time away from our personal lives, from our family, because we are dedicating this time to help people, and a lot of the times, you're throwing up daily posts, you're throwing up different things like that, and... You know, this is free information that we're trying to share with people. Like, you know, here, here's what I'm getting for today. Yep. Free.com information. And um, there's people that I've met that are truly grateful. And I tell them, I shout you out. I know you. I see all of you. And I appreciate everyone who actually gives me an understanding. Like, oh, I understood this. I get this. Because it helps, yes. me, helps me understand how to better reach you guys and yes. how what type of content you like other because I want to cater to everybody and then you want to cater to everybody. So when we ask questions or for feedback, it's not to feed our egos. No, no, no. It's to help hear what we want you to see and what you would like to see. Um, it's more for you than anything else. So I feel like some people are like, you know, why do you need to always give feedback? I'm like, because we want to know. We want to be better readers. We want to be better content creators. Because right. we content. And we want you to give us the necessary feedback so we can cater to you. Right. Um, like, we don't want to give you information that you don't really want. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? We don't want you to look at our shit and be like, oh, yeah, no, no, I don't want to. Like, it, it DM me and be like, hey, I have this really great idea. You'll get credit for your idea. I have no problem telling somebody that that wasn't my brainchild, but it's a great idea, right? So let's use it. And let's see what we can create with this. And let's see what communication comes out of this. Because it is about sharing information and lifting each other up in positivity. And, you know, when we give readings and we give you information that you might not want to get, it's not because, you know, we just want to give you bad news. It's because we're trying to, like, warn you and tell you about the pit, the, the, the bumps in the road that could be ahead. You know what I mean? Because knowing is half the battle and you can change it before it happens if you take the right path. You know? Um, whatever's going on in Island Roots 7, Island Roots 79, 78th life, um, you're not going down the path that you're supposed to be going down currently um, because your cards are in lower polarity. So this is telling me that there is something off about exactly what's going on. Uh, the Three of Wands comes up, and that's a halt in progress and productivity. Um, things are not moving forward. I feel like there's some some place in your life where you're feeling stuck. And, you know, the next card is the Six of Coins. So this probably has to do with something that is actually physical, um, something that you have. So it could be something with housing. It could be something with your job situation. It could be something with, you know, it's a it, it's an actual physical attainment that you're trying to get to or trying to maintain, and you're having some trouble getting there. So, uh, uh, you know, the what I'm feeling is not, uh, I'm getting like, not that you're not doing the work, but you're not moving ahead in the right direction. You have to take a different approach. There's a, a, a back door to this, like a back door solution to the problem. And it's something that you might not have thought about thus far so i don't know if you need to like touch base with someone who knows the situation or um you know speak to somebody or, or share this so you know like usually you have your people that you go to for advice like hey girl i was thinking about this or you know like we've hit each other up and been like what do you think about this or what do you think about that i think that you need to take the unusual route and speak to somebody that yes of course obviously you trust um, but somebody who may have a different opinion or a different way of looking at things because there has to be another option that you're not looking at yet. 
Yes. Um, I got the same card from the last from Britain. <laughs> it says here the enemy of intuition is self doubt. I feel like you're doubting yourself and your situation. Um, something's telling me you have to be aware of that it's to the point where it's becoming a little bit uh stagnant, like it's stopping you. Like literally you are stopping yourself. There's a lot of doubt. I don't know if you're trying to take the next step or you're trying to do something and it literally you yourself, what you feel about the situation stopping you um the next card says the dream always comes disguised as a i really want you to look at this card i feel like there's a part of you that you need to um resolve they're telling me that you will not get past this until you address it um a little little figure here happy family and the little figure here i feel like it's something in the past something to do something to do with some type of uh I'm hearing it's an instability in, in terms of security and the, of there was no security or stability or um, sense of uh, feeling safe. And I feel like this is ra rising up again. Um, the feel and it might be intensifying because of this year or what's happening. So I feel like right now it's kind of snowballing. You haven't addressed it. You haven't necessarily um, kind of put it in the back burner. And now is the time to really, really, really attack it and get confronted. Say, why do I feel this way right now? It's definitely a trigger for you right now. Whatever you're feeling, it's a trigger to the past emotion of no stability, no safety in terms of your financial. This might be, like I said, to your childhood or something that you felt as you were growing up. So really address that. And like um, Bree said, please um, redirect the perspective that you have to somewhere else. Um, I feel like, like I said, like she said, there's someone that will give you the insight that you need and you have to ask. Don't be afraid to ask. I don't know if it's like a pride thing. Mm -hmm. or, like, let me suffer in silence. Please do not suffer in silence. Please. There's so many people who care for you around you. You will be surprised how well a support system will come through. Someone that you never expected will be there for you and give you that lending hand. Um, do not suffer in silence. Do not feel like you have to keep it to yourself. It, it's not fair to you. You've done so much. You've been working so hard. You've gone through so much. You deserve to have that financial stability. And don't think you don't because you're, you were used to that in the past. But that's something I wanted to tell you that address that um, security, stability, financial, like aspect of your shadow self, address it, kind of like talk about it and release it to somebody, maybe that person, and they could give you the proper advice or care that you need to move forward. Okay. Let us know if that resonated with you. I hope that it gave you a little bit of clarity um, in whatever's going on right now. I'm throwing up um, our tip information there. We will be splitting our tips 50-50, so it's not expected, but it is definitely appreciated. And um, moving forward, let's get our next question. Okay. Hey, it's Nelly. Any guidance for me? That's my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see what we got for Bestie here. God. <laughs> when the card cards come up, we're going to all... <laughs> Don't mind me, guys. I, I start chuckling. I start getting weird. Um, I'm going to get some more water. I'll be right back. Okay. So we'll wait for her to get back before we start the reading. Um, but thank you, everybody, for coming in and joining us. If you have any questions, drop them in the box at the bottom of the screen. We're going to try to get to everybody tonight. Um, but understand if we can't, we've got a couple of questions lined up. Um, the side subject is the power of letting go. We've been discussing, you know, different. Ooh, this one fell out. Okay, we got a jumper. Uh, we got two jumpers. Yeah. 
For everybody who's online now, thank you again for joining. We are waiting for Luna Soul Oracle to get back so that we can do a reading for her bestie. Who's online with us, thank you for joining us. The side subject is the power of letting go. Um, and we'll be talking a little bit about that between uh, readings here. Hi there. Hi there. <laughs> We're waiting for you. So I got two jumpers when I was shuffling. And I got the devil, bondage and toxicity, and I got the world, completion and achievement. Um, and they're two totally different cards, but I'm sure that they tie into the same situation. Basically, there's something coming, something that she's trying to bring into fruition, something that she's working towards, but she's not getting there yet because there's this thing that's in the way. Um, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't get that it's a romantic situation. And I don't know if that's because it's a one-ended thing or not. But I'm getting that this is, like, you know, I was talking to another friend of mine about um, mal de ojo. You mm. know what I mean? Like, jealous people. People that don't want to see you get ahead. People that lead you in the wrong direction. Um, because they don't want you to get to this place where you can, you can, See it, you can taste it, it's close. And it's this goal that you're looking for. There's somebody, something, a situation in her path that she needs to let go of. Um, um, Brie, no, she knows she she knows what you're talking about. Okay. You know you you hit the nail on the head. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's see what your cards are. Woo! So it's like <laughs> Wait, so be it. This is you letting things, like we said, letting things go and just enjoying the present. Also, this is something also to do with your coins. Maybe you are hoping or waiting for something to happen, and this is telling you just let go, let it come to you. Um, also, for the third time. <laughs> Woo! The and it's funny. The subject of the show. <laughs> So they're saying there's obviously a lot of doubts that's stopping you from receiving something in terms of, I also hear financial, emotional, everything. Everything that you're hoping for, that you've been manifesting for, there's definitely a doubt. A doubt that's basically kind of digging a hole and you have to like take the nail out and heal. You got to acknowledge it. Um, I hear that you have to speak on it. You have to um, actively tell yourself, let it go. And this means facing who you are, like facing yourself in the mirror. I'm hearing mirror, face yourself and see, like, look, this part, I didn't like it. It affected me so much, but I'm not going to let it take a hold of my life and stop me from leaving. Because it's literally stopping you. Um, basically, everything is like right here is like an inch away. And you all you have to do is just like literally open the door. But you're kind of pounding on it and missing the keyhole. You're like, where's the keys? All you have to do is turn the knob, but your focus is everywhere else but that knob. And I feel like for you right now, you just have to be in the present moment instead of focusing on the past, focusing on doubts of the future. What if this? What if that? What ifs can really, really mess anyone up, especially if they're manifesting. That's something that people who manifest do not talk about. Uh, poking, poking bears here. When people manifest, they don't talk about um, the counter effects if you are thinking of what ifs in the future or what ifs in the past. You're kind of stopping that. When you manifest, you put it out there and you let it go. You don't think yeah. about it. You don't dwell on it. You just let it go. Do the, the work halfway because remember, it's not just you putting the words out in the air. You got to actually make an initiative to meet it halfway in order for it to flourish and actually happen. For example, I want a house. Like myself, I'm going to use myself as an example. What I'm trying to do is eliminate my debts, trying to get everything in order, trying to save money so I can get there. And what I'm doing, trying to promote myself, myself business, trying to reach to other people, trying to work my job and do the things I need to do in order for me to meet that goal halfway. And I feel like for you, your goal is to be happy to like 
freely love, love yourself, love everyone around you, flourish, just be happy. I'm hearing be happy. The only way you can do this, approach those things that you have been thinking about, past situations, past emotions, trauma, self-limiting beliefs that you have and approach it head on. And that means booger tears, let it happen. Does that mean days just feeling sad? Let it happen. You have to process it in order to let it go. And processing mm -hmm. and losing, you don't forget it, but you don't let it have a hold of you, a hold of your life, and a hold of your future. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> That's basically her whole reading. And the joy, then the joy that you feel after you've gotten to the place where you can let that go is that positive energy that you need in order to bring those manifestations in. It's a cycle. You have to do step one, step two, step three, step four, and you have to get past those roadblocks, get over those bumps, get over those humps so that you can get to your happy place. So you have to feel it and let it go. And that's what, it, like we were saying at the beginning, we hold on to things because they give us comfort because we're used to them, not because they're good for us or they make us happy because you can be motherfucking miserable holding on to something. Okay, so the next question we have here is from Jaspreet Hilton 9, Hillen 9. What changes is happening within me and around me because I feel it and what's the outcome? Thank you. Oh, that's how that's that's what a TQ means. I think so. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I believe that's what that means. You know, sometimes uh I I, I gotta go to my daughter who's like in her twenties and be like, yo. What the hell does this mean? <laughs> Ask people to. I don't know the abbreviations. I'm just like, what? Like, just. <laughs> but I feel. Like oh, that. okay. It's like a whole nother language. I, you want to know something, it's, and it's totally off subject, but it's the first thing that came to my mind. It, when you start to look for apartments, like the first time you ever look for an apartment or something like that, that is the weirdest experience with abbreviations. Really? Yes. And take a, go to a ad, like wherever they post, like apartment stuff nowadays, because it's been a while since I looked for an apartment, and read it. It's like, you know, 3BM... B T Q like I don't even know, but you know, it's a bunch of like abbreviations so that they can fit large ads and small spaces. Ooh, I don't I know what that, that shit is. But it's it's no 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 worries. Don't don't say sorry. It's just we're trying to decipher. It's okay. We need a <laughs> certain um slang Larry, I don't know, urban urban talk, I don't know. It's, it's we live in the age of technology, so people with text messages and stuff like that, you learn the abbreviations. I just do the sentence. You <laughs> lol laugh off, which I use a lot because I curse, yeah. I curse like crazy, and I think that's it. <laughs> people were like, friend of mine, she used uh, you're welcome, I w, and I was like, what's that? <laughs> I'm not that old, but still, I don't, I don't want to figure and decipher things out. Yeah, it depends on what it is. Sometimes I get it. Sometimes I'm like, it'll be, I forget it. I'll be there forever. <sighs> so, um, you know, I, I'm getting, I have the ten of wands, burden and laboring, but it's in lower polarity. So there's something that you need to let go of. There's something that you've been carrying around with you. There's something that, um, you know, is stopping you from progressing forward. Theme of the show. Um, but you're definitely not on the right path to letting that go. Um, you are holding on to it. You keep holding this bundle. You're not letting it go. And it's because of the, the illusions and fears that you created behind what could possibly happen. Um, 
and it's funny too because it ties into the rest of what we were talking about definitely like childhood trauma something that happened to you or you know something um definitely obviously when you were younger but um you know i feel like this is um a dysfunction you know what i mean like something really profound happened something big that traumatized you in a way um and it's creating a lot of fears and mistrust and 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 you see things a certain way and it's a mindset thing like you have to change you have to be able to let it go and heal in order to change your mindset about what is going on um definitely this is not something that that you're going to let go of in 5 minutes this is something that needs a little bit of work so in that that is you know we start to go through these spiritual changes in life where um you're now aware of this that you weren't aware of then or you know when you mature you see things differently like you know as teenagers you think to yourself um I'll never be like my parents and then as you start to become older you start to see things and you're like shit I'm my mother <laughs> So I feel like you know it's a thing of you're starting to get to another stage in your life where you're starting to see things a little bit differently and this feeling of needing to overcome these things that have happened to you like you're starting to spiritually lead to that place you're starting to open up to a place where you can start dealing with this and this is what's coming up for you Yeah um the first word i got as i was uh shuffling and picking your cards out was ascension i feel like you're going through like ascension symptoms where you're just starting to um first the moods there's definitely like this lava lamp you're all over the place it's kind of like you're kind of noticing things you didn't notice before having this weird profound like deja vu ish you're having like am i here really it's so weird like shift and i feel like recently you've been feeling something's going to happen this is what's happening you're starting to be more aware of things around you starting to take notice also this expand i'm funny how brie mentioned that in the her reading i feel like there's like a moment in time that you want to go back to um like she mentioned something in the past definitely want to expand time and kind of change it kind of feel like why do i have to be this way or why do i have to experience this because like why does this why did this have to happen to me that's like how you yeah. like, like or whatever it is and you're just kind of like fuck you know the reason why you want you feeling this way cuz you have to better okay this is part of the session you're feeling you have to confront it the door a little bit and you don't know if this or this you have to about cuz then you're breaking up a little bit you've been breaking up a little bit Do you hear me now? Now I hear you. Sorry. Where did I leave off? <laughs> you the whole clock thing you were breaking out for about 30 seconds. Okay. So this whole clock thing I um I was saying that um I feel like you want to go to a certain part in time. Can't hear you. Can you hear me yeah. now? Yeah, we hear you now. Okay. Like you want to go back to the time specifically where you were feeling that and you kind of want to change the course. like why did this have to happen can i change it like why didn't this person or whatever it is avoided that but um things happen for a reason they lead you to a point and it's not because to hurt you or like necessarily really hurt you it's kind of to make you understand something this moment has led you to where you are now ascension feeling these moments feeling these energies you're looking at people you're like i don't want to be around this person anymore you're starting to realize a lot and i feel like your mood is all over they're telling me that you have to um grab the way of like kind of bringing your energy back down cuz it's kind of up here you're literally tapping into everything 
feel. I don't like realizing people around you, realizing others, maybe a person next to you. And I also heard empath. I don't know if you absorb others' energy, you feel exhausted by certain people, you uh, feel their emotions. You're like, this person's upset. Now I'm upset. Why the hell am I upset? I have nothing to be upset about. You're basically sucking their emotions. So uh, one thing you can do is just visualize yourself grounding to the earth. Or take salt baths. That's really nice. I think that's like uh, something that people do, like Epsom salt baths to soak their body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For your um, absorbing other people's energies and all that stuff. So you can just put that in your little bath or a bucket and literally kind of cleanse yourself. But a lot of ascension happening. You're opening up and it's basically opening doors to the past something that you have to embrace it's part of the process don't think you're crazy because you're not it's part of the process just um embrace the moment see the lesson in it and keep it moving mm -hmm. she says yes i let go of something major and ever since that i have been having this weird feeling everywhere but i have a good feeling about it thank you so much beautiful souls much appreciated yay thank you so much for that feedback i love it Okay, let's see. Next question is, may I have a general reading, please? So again, I'll go shuffling because it's been a while since I've said it. Thank you so much to everybody who's joining us tonight. Um, I'm having a great time reading. I love how um, the energy matches. Like We're coming out with basically the same thing and different, but like I said, different approaches to how you approach it. And that's the difference between readers, you know what I mean? Um, but the, uh, the energy is the same. The readers are coming out um, really beautifully. I love uh, collaborating with someone and it's like just me standing. Because I've watched some collaborations, boy. It's like, holy shit, that car wreck. And it's just, you know, some people are like oil and water. Some people don't mix well with one another. And yeah, it happens, and I don't think people should get upset with that. It's just people have certain energy. Yeah. There. there are some people that I thought I vibed with, and I tried to befriend them, and they didn't answer back. So I was like, well. <laughs> like, all right, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> Ooh, jumper. They're not ready not gonna lie i am uh, a bit in your face but not in a bad way just like very uh bubbly and that's a strong yeah my my daughter is a, a sagittarius too so <laughs> they buy with me and some people don't i don't take offense to it because you know i'm not for everybody that's yeah nobody it, here's the thing you want to know something? There could be somebody that watches you that doesn't watch me just because they they vibe with your energy. Mm -hmm. I am a little more um, on the mellow side of things, but some people vibe with that energy. Some people. And I'm like, it. hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, let's do magic together. La, 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 la. <laughs> And I'm that person that I'm like, okay, I'm going to sit over here and watch you do magic and see if I want to do magic with you. Oh, that's fine. Some people like to watch. Like in video games, my brother like, like to play. I, I suck at video games and I get scared. So I would watch. You know, he was good oh, at yeah. it. I watch it from afar. I, I used to do that too with video games too. Like, I, I'm, not a, I'm not a reader. Oh, okay, Lunita. I if I hope that if you're doing a show, it's gonna be posted. I love you too, and um, I'll watch it. But I hope I don't miss it. But anyway, I'll be watching it, so I'll be thinking of you. Good luck on your show. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> so the general this general reading, um, the Nine of Cups, Pride and Wishes Fulfilled comes up. Um, there's something that's going to be coming to you that you've been waiting for. Um, but be careful uh, because your Knight of Coins is in lower polarity, and that's productivity and practicality. So there's some project that you're working on. You're both, lo both lovely. Thank you so much. There's something going on in your life, some project that you're working on, something that you're dealing with. Um, and it's something that is a great pride and joy to you. There's a lot of emotion connected to it. Um, but if you're not careful, you can lose grip of it. Um, 
you may go over budget or or spend too much money doing this thing um it may be a thing of um not having the right tools or not having what you need or getting the wrong thing um just be careful for being very very specific about um and especially also while you are manifesting this thing be specific in telling the universe what it is that you're looking for to come and see your path um you can it it there's a it, there's a possibility of losing track of this thing so reassess really think about what you're doing plan these steps out carefully because it's possible for you it's on the way it's there but you have the possibility of tripping up for your first card you you got this is not how the story ends they're saying but there's more um i feel like a lot of it i'm hearing that you have to shift your perspective um something else is happening or something else will come up it's not just what you want there's something more and they're telling me they're going to present it to you but you got to um kind of like be open to it i don't know if this is something that you're very unsure about or maybe a, a certain path or a certain uh, a skill that you kind of been questioning about, but something's in the back of your mind. You're thinking, what if I can? But they're saying it's not yet. There's still more that you have to endure. And it says, what loves, um, what you love loves you back. Um, this is in regards to whatever you're trying to do. It's going to still be there. Don't feel like you have to rush. Don't feel like you have to push everything forward and do it right now because there's still some more things that you have to learn that you have to integrate to make it just perfect. Um, mm -hmm. I do this with myself as well where I want to rush into something because I'm so excited and want to just put it out there. Like, oh my God, oh my God. But they're saying there's some other things you have to work out in order for it to be just right the way you okay. want it with the outcome you will like because you've been manifesting this. So you got to be open to what else comes through and just say, you know, okay, this is something else. Maybe I have to learn something. Maybe I have to grow another skill or maybe I have to integrate things to make it exactly how I want it. And they're saying, don't worry. It's still going to be there. What you're doing, what you're going to put out there, it's not like you're losing time. You got to just take it, go with the flow, see what comes to you. And when the right time comes, it's going to be there. You're going to be successful at it. And people are going to connect with you. I have to have this feeling it has to do with people and like connecting with people. Mm -hmm. But that's for you. She says, I feel like I know pretty much exactly what you guys mean. And and when you rush it, that's when the potential to make the wrong choices or the mistakes happens. So just take your time, like she said, and really put thought into how exactly you want to approach it. And, you know, because, uh, like, you know, what there's always cause and reaction from everything that you do. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that you're making those right moves so that you can get the outcome that you're looking for. So let's see what's next. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Does the father of my child want a future with me? we get into this reading thank you you guys they've been holding strong with us the whole show i'm looking at yes, the numbers and i'm like yeah, 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 yeah. i'm sending you all so much love love love, love. i love thank it you. i love it i love it okay so it's see and here's the thing these cards i feel like they're about you uh, the seven, of course, come in, come up, and it's invest in investment and determination. So 
you know, obviously you have a kid, you're invested, you're determined, you really want this to work out for you. The magician also comes out and that's in higher polarity. So there are, you know, a lot of, I feel like you, you can have control of a lot of the situation. You may be able to hold on to it for a while. Um, but this is talking about you. I don't feel like this is coming from the other person. I feel like I'm getting her side of things. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not getting, I'm getting the will to hold on. Mm -hmm. I want this to work. I want to make it happen. I'm getting that side of it. I'm not getting, and it could be that this person really wants things to work out too. Mm -hmm. And it's a joint thing. But yeah. I feel like this I'm getting from you. I'm getting the determination. And it's not, you know, and it's not that you're not bearing fruit from it. You know what I mean? I don't feel like it's a complete one-sided thing. This is somebody who cares about you. This is somebody that doesn't want to see anything bad happen to you. I don't see, feel any malicious things going on here. Um, But, like, that hope upon hope that things are going to work out mm -hmm. is what I'm feeling. What did you get? Because <laughs> um. he's between the cards. Sometimes when you pull one or two, it's not going to give you the whole story. You know what I mean? Oh. That's why <laughs> sometimes it's better to get the full reading because you're going to get more cards and it tells more of the story. But this is like, I feel like I want this to happen. I want it. I want it. I want it. I want it. Hmm. So, Jaylene, um, I'm going to show you the first card. So, this card says no one is coming for you. Um, I feel like I don't know if you feel kind of like been pushed to the side in a sense, kind of like you don't feel like you're getting that attention from this specific person. Um, I feel like this is a lot to do with how you feel. You kind of feel like you're, if you want to look a little closer, kind of left in the dark, kind of feel like, or maybe feeling not as appreciated as you would like to be. Maybe not, he's not giving you that specific comment or that tension that you feel will make you feel like he likes you or he he wants to be with you um you're not basically getting what you want from him in terms of the emotional responses um the second card is the way home oh let me show it this way so as you see there's a map this is you and i feel like in order for you guys to even make it work there's so many things you gotta uh, work through together and i feel like for you you're just trying to find your way back to where it was before um sometimes that's hard when we have the beginning of a relationship or a certain part of the relationship that was euphoric and amazing and that tends to slip away once you start to have kids and things start to really happen where you got to face certain challenges it might be hard to get back to that but you're at a different phase in your life and so is he so you got to understand his understanding of what's happening as well as your own but like i like Bree said i feel like this is more or less how you feel um i feel like this person it could work out either way it's just a matter of how you approach things i don't know if you guys are just like kind of like what's happening this is a new situation um maybe you're trying to work co-parenting or maybe you're living together but i feel like there's like definitely trying to figure things out um kind of touch and go with this person you're just like, um, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I feel like this is like a big question mark for both of you. He's kind of wondering. You're kind of wondering. Maybe you should chat. Say something. Let let the air out and say, you know, um, I've been thinking. And see where this person's at, whether it's good or bad. At least you know. And you can stop the hopping and, hip the, you know, the hopscotch and wondering and thinking. You know, let it lay it out in the open. That might be rough. rough ugh, I'm stumbling. Spirit, calm down. Like, I want to give you messages so bad. Um, they're saying that stop wondering and do and just see where it goes. Um, see where this person's at. Because I feel like you're kind of basing it on your perspective and not on theirs. So if you may get more understanding of him and how he feels and how he feels you guys should work together or um, co-parent or whatever it is that you're hoping for, um, you at least will get an understanding and you can stop wondering um i feel like wondering is definitely 
something that in general anyone does what ifs it's very annoying and it does waste the, waste so much time um and i feel like for you time is of the essence in the sense that you want to be happy you want to find that special person don't wait for cues just tell them like look where is this going i like you know what where do you see us is this something that you want to do or not and um if he's being aloof about it that is not a good sign i think you should just if he's a, he's like i don't know maybe he got to be more direct because if you're feeling like you're all alone in space it could be also him giving you mixed signals and that's not fair and i also feel very strongly like i need to say not to have these conversations via text or yeah. whatever um i don't even recommend that you video chat with this man when you're doing this either this is a thing like you need to get him into your space or you need to be in his space or wherever an adjoining space and you need to have this conversation in person it needs to be a heartfelt conversation where you can see him and you can feel his energy mm -hmm. and you can feel the energy in the room exactly. so that you can really make an educated decision about which way you want to go with this because at the end of the day you have to be able to communicate with one another for a whole long time. Mhm. Mm so this is something that has to happen on a human level and it has to be something that if he's aloof about it and he's giving you that signal, you have to take a step back and say, "Okay, I need to let this go for the good of me and for the good of my kid because you're going to have to be able to get along with this man and it's hard to get along with someone when there's feelings connected there and you want things to work out and it's not a thing that's happening on both ends. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She says definitely we'll have a conversation soon. Thank you. Okay, got you. We'll definitely wait so the person communication is a problem with us. Yes. Yeah. So then you need to have that conversation in person because you don't want it to be, you know, in a text message, oh, I that extra a or that missing that, o mm -hmm, or that that, that conversation, yeah, that'll fuck up a whole conversation for no reason for no reason because then you'll have a conversation with the person on the phone and they're like I didn't mean it like that you have a tendency to read attitudes when you're expecting aggression exactly. I have and a feeling he will squirm he will be like, yeah like like, like like now I'm on the spot exactly. because you have to give a definite answer you have to really say this is what I'm about and this is really what I want to go on hey boo <laughs> But let's see what our next question is. Okay. Uh Rainbow Tarot. Any guidance for me? It's funny too because um I the way I call them my spidey senses to mm -hmm. people who don't like really know what I'm talking about. And I'm like the way my spidey senses work is this um and I have like lately especially in the last month or two i have a lot of situations it doesn't surprise me anymore but what is catching me off guard is how often i'm doing it these days oh yeah you know what i mean like i'm saying um darn it i'm trying to think of a situation i know something happened just like yesterday or the day before i have a i have this habit of going to people and saying hey have you heard from so and so and then so and so will call them at night or you know things of that nature who like like kind of like a premonition ish yeah or like i'll start like an account will stick out to me and mm -hmm. then they'll come on my